but I think this outfit came out so cute. I think it looks very similar to the picture. I chose six Pinterest outfits that have been sitting on my Pinterest board. Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you have never been. If you have never been, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we get into the video and let's just get started. Today I decided to do another version of shopping my closet like I have done in the past because I am always searching for new ways to wear the clothes that are already in my closet rather than thinking that I need to buy new clothes, especially when it comes to recreating Pinterest outfits. Like most people I know, I have an extensive Pinterest board of all these outfits that I want to recreate and I get stuck in this mindset of, well, I don't have those pieces. I can't make that outfit, but that's not true. Just because I don't have that specific item in my closet doesn't mean that I can't recreate it in a way that is my style with stuff that I already own. It might be a little bit different than the picture, but that's what it's for. It's for inspiration. So you can take that picture and kind of manipulate it and make it into an outfit that feels comfortable for you. So that is what we did today. I shopped my closet. I chose six Pinterest outfits that have been sitting on my Pinterest board and we recreated them using stuff in my closet. And I I am so excited to show these outfits to you because I feel like they came out super, super cute. The first outfit that I wanted to recreate was this one. I, if you've watched my channel, you know that I love taking something that's supposed to be like dressed down like a graphic tee or something that's supposed to be dressed up like a satin skirt and mixing them and making it more casual and comfortable. And that's exactly what this picture was. So it just drew my attention to it. And I happen to have a green skirt that is super similar to this from Cider. So I was really excited to recreate this outfit. So I decided to pair a baggy graphic tee that I just got off Boohoo. It's just a plain graphic tee. It says universal on it. And I paired that with the green satin skirt that I have, which putting it on, I was like, is this going to go together? But trust the process. It ended up coming out so cute. I did a little side tuck into it. So it still gave the baggy effect. I could have done a bra tuck if I wanted a more cropped effect, but I did a side tuck. So it still had that bagginess. And I paired it with my white high top Converse style shoes. And this one didn't have any accessories besides necklaces, which I don't own a lot of if I'm being honest, but I think this outfit came out so cute. The graphic tee with the satin skirt is so like elevated but casual. Like I would never typically wear the satin skirt to the grocery store or to like a market, but I feel like I could with this outfit. The second outfit I wanted to recreate was this one because I wanted to style shorts in some way because I feel like with shorts, I typically just wear like a t-shirt or something super plain with it. But this one was cute. It has that whole like sheer top look and I love that. So I got a little bit creative with this one and I forgot to tuck this one in. So fair warning, I didn't tuck it in at the end so it doesn't give the full effect. But I paired this cream sheer shirt that I have with a green bralette under it. So it kind of gives the vibe of the seeing the shirt underneath. I don't have a colorful sheer shirt like the one in the picture, but I do have a cream one. So I paired that with my Princess Polly shorts. They're a little bit longer. They're not too short and they're not too tight. They kind of give the same effect that the picture gives. And I paired this with my tall brown boots and my brown messenger style bag that I got from the thrift store. This entire outfit is actually thrifted except for the shorts and the shoes, which I got a long time ago or on sale, but this bag and this shirt are actually thrifted. So you can recreate these outfits on a major budget. I think this outfit came out really cute. I feel like it would have been better if I had tucked the shirt, but it is what it is. The third outfit I wanted to recreate was a super casual looking outfit. I wanted to do some sort of trouser pant outfit because if you followed my channel, you know I love a trouser pant. So I found this outfit with a white just tank top and cream trousers and white shoes with a little black bag. And I thought it was so cute because it's so simple, but it looks like I put so much effort in. So I actually paired it with this top that I'm wearing. It's this baggy kind of muscly styled white tank top. And I paired it with my thrifted cream trousers, which I love. I did do a bra tuck with this shirt this time because it, I wanted to give it more of a cropped effect. Since I didn't have a bodycon style white shirt, I still wanted to 
to give that cropped effect and I think it came out so cute. I paired it with the same high top white shoes from the first outfit and my very old black Madewell purse. I think this outfit looks so elevated yet so casual and it feels so comfortable. It, I'm, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I think it looks very similar to the picture and it's all stuff that I already owned. The fourth outfit we went very simple and monochromatic but still really cool looking and it is this all black outfit. I got inspired by this picture because I have a black bandeau top like that but I had just gotten one recently from Princess Polly that has a little bit more of a design and I have these wide leg baggy boohoo pants that I really wanted to pair with it so I decided to take this and make it my own a little bit which is exactly what I mean by this. You don't have to follow the pictures exactly. So I paired my kind of perforated designed bandeau top from Princess Polly with the baggy wide leg boohoo jeans and just black boots that I had and it's so simple and it's all one color but I think it looks so chic and so cute and it's it's literally the most simple basic outfit that I pulled out of my closet. It's just all black and it works. Outfit number five, we had to get a little bit creative with again. I love these sweater style tops that you can like mix and match with different broadlets and make them look different. So I took inspiration from this one, but I had to make it my own a little bit. I have this brown kind of crocheted top that I found at the thrift store that I really, really, really like. And I paired it with these straight kind of baggy jeans that I have from Target. They do have a rip in the side, which adds a little bit of something to them. And I paired it with my cream slides. Now this is where I wish I had something a little bit different. I wish I had shoes that matched the shirt a little bit more or a shirt that matched the shoes a little bit more. But again, it's the idea of it. I can play with it a little bit and make it work. This is super cute. It's kind of an in-between like spring outfit because it is long sleeve, but I still feel like it's light enough to wear during the summer just not when it's 115. And then the final outfit I was so excited about, I was very apprehensive because it's not necessarily in my bubble, but it's something that I wanted to style because I have pieces that look like all of these especially the shoes. I just recently got shoes that look exactly like this and I've been looking for new ways to style them. So I was so excited to style it with this outfit because I feel like the top of it is so chic and then it has those like kind of earthy looking sandals. And I didn't think I had a purse like this, but I do. It's a very different color, but we were working with it. So I paired just a plain white bandeau top that was literally like $5 from Target. I got it a couple of years ago. So very affordable and I've had it in my closet with this bodycon Amazon black skirt and some most of the time I wear this skirt higher but I did pull it down a little bit for the sake of this outfit. I paired it with these sandals that I got from Target that I am obsessed with and this green bucket style purse that I actually almost got rid of but I'm glad I didn't because it works so well with this outfit. I feel like because the outfit is very neutral and white and black the little pop of color in the purse is so cute and I do feel like this is very accurate to the picture with just like little elements of my own. And that is it for my recreating Pinterest outfits from clothes that are already in my closet. I feel like I was so nervous about this video going in because I was like, I don't think I have anything off my Pinterest board. Like, otherwise I would have been wearing it. But surprise to me, I do. I have a lot of the clothes that I can get inspiration from these pictures and make these super cute outfits. And I didn't even know because I've never even given it a chance. So if you are apprehensive about trying to recreate Pinterest outfits, or if you have these styles, don't be afraid to get a little bit creative with it. Like take it and run with it and make it your own. Like if you like the bandeau with the skirt, do what you want with it. Like if you wanted to wear this pink skirt with the bandeau instead, do it. I feel like that'd be cute too. So it's all about getting inspiration and wearing the stuff that's in your closet and making sure that stuff gets worn. If it doesn't, then it needs to go. That's my new mindset. So I've been trying to find new ways to style my clothes, especially clothes that I struggle with styling, like a lot of this clothes in this video. So yeah, let me know in the comments which of these outfits was your favorite. I feel like my favorite was... I actually feel like my favorite was the first outfit, the green skirt with the graphic tee. I feel like it's so cute, it's so simple, but it like makes a graphic tee so much more elevated and I love that. So that's my favorite outfit. Let me know what yours is. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that like button. It helps me know what you guys are enjoying and it really helps my channel. Like I said at the beginning, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join the family. And if you wanna get notified every single time I post, 
hit that notification bell and I will see you next time. Bye!